All right, so this is the inside of an MSI GP66 10UG with the heat sink taken off. And it's got the 3070 and the i7-10750. So the thermal paste application wasn't really the best. Um, definitely had one spot where it kind of uh, didn't seem to be flat. I don't know if that was the cooler or the die. But um, as you can see, I'm trying to scrape it off right there. But it was maybe a low spot on the die or a high spot on the cooler. Now, my temps were not too bad, but we're going to try to alleviate that. Um, we're actually going to lap this and I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt to lap that. Um, I've done it before and we're going to try to do it again. So I'm going to take my time over the next day or so and um, do some research and try to measure some of these thicknesses where the thermal putty was. And we're going to replace these with uh, G lid pads if we can. I'm just really not a big fan of thermal putty. I probably could put them back together. It's definitely still putty. -y. It's not like hardened up yet or anything. But um, yeah, I just I don't like I don't like the way this stuff feels. I don't like the way it looks. And I don't have any putty. Probably get away with using paste. I've heard. But I'm gonna um, I'm gonna actually try to do some pads so let's see if anybody's got any suggestions on uh what size pads they would recommend for french chokes i guess and the vrms and the vram and all that good stuff i'm gonna guess it's probably like a half a millimeter well it's probably more like a millimeter on the pads these are uh probably the most important ones right here for the VRAM. I don't really know if I uh, even care about doing the rest of them, so we'll see. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Just wanna show you guys the inside, the MSI GP66 cooler. And if you're trying to remove it, be very, very careful. Um, you're gonna need something to uh, kinda like pry it up with. It's like a little pry tool or whatever would help you out a lot. There's a lot of different things you can use to help you, but that's the inside to help somebody. It's kind of a pain to get to. Remember to use um, guitar picks, go all the way around uh, the back side, one little notch at a time, keep inserting the guitar picks, you'll get it out. If you have any questions or need any help, let me know.